Dude. Welcome everyone to some new vintage story content on the server. Your big opportunity may be right where you are now. I love that there's little uh, hints at the bottom. They're life hints. It's great. Uh, we're going to be playing a single player and we're going to be playing... Uh, that's odd. We're going to be playing with, uh, well, let's, let's go and start a fresh one because, uh, I did, I did have a, um, a setup where I chose the customization, but I don't know what's going on with the timing on that one. So we're going to be playing not quite wilderness survival. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the respawn so that it's about, you know, hundred blocks or so from the center. So we can respawn back at home if we die. Uh, other things that are going to be adjusted are our, uh, I think we'll put our days down to six days. Uh, that's going to speed up the seasons like crazy. We can swim really good with good lung capacity. A very outdoorsy, healthy kind of hunter style guy. Uh, or Seraph. Uh, block gravity is on as per the normal wilderness survival mode. Um, we are going to have our map, I think, for this one. Uh, we're going to put the leave the creatures at their normal strength. Uh, hunger rates, fine. Health regen, fine. Uh, you know what? Hunger rate, I'm going to adjust to slightly less. And I'm going to leave the food spoiling up. We're going to change the tree sapling growth rate down so that it uh, more matches the speed of which the world progresses. Uh, it suggests when you change this timing right up here, days per month, do, do take a look at this because we recommend adjusting hunger rates, health regeneration rates, and food spoilage rates uh, to match changes to days per month. So it, it's very, very fast seasons when you do this. Basically 50% faster than before. Like normally it's nine days. Um, nine days per month. We're going six days per month. So it's going to be very, very fast paced. Uh, prospecting pick will be on with a um, an eight block radius. Uh, global deposit spawn rate. I'm going to bump the, the number of ore deposits up slightly. Micro chiseling will be on. Reason for the up on the global deposits is just simply because it's a YouTube content and I it's no fun to be uh, to be stuck taking forever to find stuff. We will use the color accurate map and the world map um, on. Um, you know what? We're not. We're in wilderness survival, so we're not going to have the world map yet. And here's why. What we're going to do is I'll have to make... Um, let's say we give ourselves a fa I, I haven't found a mod. I was really looking to try to find a mod that would let us activate the map mode after achieving something. So either you can buy it from a merchant or you can, uh, you know, make it, make it with parchment and some coal or something like that, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to try to fake it. I think I can adjust the world map to turn it on after we get uh, a, a, you know, a part of the way through the series. So what I'm going to do is <clears throat> we're going to make, uh, if you think of the nine block create, um, building uh, recipes, we're going to make a spot where we have to put parchment around the outside and, I don't know, let's say two charcoal in the middle or one charcoal in the middle and parchment around the outside. So we've got a goal, some sort of parchment that we can draw on. Either it's you know made of leather or paper or something. Uh, in a in an outer circle and a coal in the middle, just as a as a once we've achieved that, then we can activate the world map. But for now, we don't have a map. Um, temporal storms, sure. You know what? I'm going to leave them on. Uh, I am going to switch it so that we are allowed to sleep through those temporal storms, simply because it just is just very very dull content. We can't. In early game, you cannot fight these large temporal storms. You just have to basically run from the creatures. And that's no fun. Um, and uh, hiding in your hole while doing other stuff is really boring, annoying. And if I time lapse it, it's super annoying. And if I cut it out, it's super pointless. So we'll just have the option to sleep through. Uh, climate is realistic. Land cover, I'm going to drop to uh, 70%. Percentage of the world... Uh, should be land and the rest is ocean so 30 percent ocean uh land cover scale so land cover scale basically sets um <clears throat> how much distance between pieces of, of land so if i up this there'll be bigger spaces between the oceans i like that idea upheaval rate we're going to drop 
down. I think uh, geological upheaval should be prominent large-scale hilly terrain. We're going to drop that down to 10%. Geological activity, we're going to put that up to uh, uncommon, I think. No, you know what? Let's leave it as the at the rare. Uh, the landform scale. I looked this one up a few in a few different uh, forums to hear conversation about it, and it turns out this statement right here was his answer to uh, was Tyron's answer to the questions about it. So basically, you'll en encounter larger mountains, wider lakes, wider flatlands. The areas that we might think of from other blocky lake games as biomes will be bigger stretches when we upgrade up this number. So we're going to up this number to 140%. Uh, we'll drop the world size down to a half million, just because we don't need the million for ourselves. <clears throat> um, and let's see, global temperatures and shrubbery and trees and all that's fine. Uh, tin never appears on the surface. And uh, copper will appear... Um, let's say we put copper to appear rarely... Uh, and that'll help with, again with the not getting long term stuck with the ore issues. Uh, snow is enabled. Yep, snow and ice enabled. Sounds great. We've got ourselves a world design. All right. Oh, now that is a sweet mustachio. I like it. <laughs> uh, we'll switch to the uh, character that I want to build here. Uh, unkempt, messy hair. Sounds great. Looks about right. And uh, let's go with the funny greenish skin color here. Uh, and awesome dark, deep green eyes with his breeches and his very high tuba. Sounds excellent. And uh, that's our skin. And we're going to go Hunter. Lovely. Hunter class has focus, so range damage and ranged accuracy. And ranged distance increase, which is all awesome. Resourcefulness, more animal loot and animal harvesting speed. Uh, Fleet-footed, walking faster. Uh, exclusive crafting of bows and arrows. And then he's got the negatives are farsighted, so reduced melee damage. And uh, uh, claustrophobic, which is actually pretty painful because it, uh, it drops our ore production by 15% and our mining speed. But, oh, hello. Yes, this is weird, I agree. Uh, quite the strange looking biome with, with uh, basalt. Well. All right. Let's uh, go ahead and start picking up these. This is a tool which is good for harvesting for... Actually, the basalt stone is actually good for picking up as well. Because this that makes fine tools. So we're not really stuck with primarily flint. Oh, obsidian. Even better tools. Well, lovely. Uh, so clearly a volcanic uh, space here with some lovely volcanic soil producing beautiful flowers. I like it. I'm going to keep our eyes out for uh, th important things like um, sticks. So let's uh, actually start banging at this tree. We're looking for uh, leaf pieces that say branchy leaf in the uh, top up top. You can see that they're slightly darker inside. They actually uh, render with the leaves inside or the branches inside them. Like that one, that one, not that one, that one up there, yep. We can't, we're not cutting the tree down, we're just taking all of its leaves off and killing it off slowly, you know. Like your ex-girlfriend. And uh, this is quite the biome. Now that gave us a decent amount of sticks and actually gave us a plant too. I love this basalt everywhere, it's great. Obsidian, oh, we got a ruin right here. Wow, okay. Oh, I thought that was Flint. It was a butterfly. We got some reeds sitting around here. Wow, okay. I mean, it's not a painfully terrible start. Little seashell on the side. A bunny rabbit. All right, what else we got here? We got some, ah, black currant. Okay. I'm okay with that. I'm even okay with taking the whole plant out. Uh, what I'm looking for is any cracked vessels, storage vessels that might be sitting in here. I don't know. Uh, let's start by making our first... Um, we're going to make knives out of uh, the rock. We could make the spearheads, but I think we'll save this obsidian for our spearheads. I think you can make obsidian arrowheads too, actually. 
I don't want to test it. I'll look at it next, the first time that I actually try to make a uh, proper uh, tool out of that. <clears throat> Let's uh, grab this maple sapling and plop her down for a plant. Quite a strange feeling biome. I've, I've not been on one of these in a long time. That is uh, the beautiful orange is uh, bauxite. So late game awesome. Bauxite's needed as a ingredient in steel making. We need borax as well, but that's something we can uh, find in the grounds. Ah, and we've got chert as well. Okay, chert's a good one for wielding copper supplies. This is... Oh my god. What is that? That was not friendly looking. Oh, it's... What is that? It looked like a bear at first. It's not a bear. What is that? Oh, it is a bear. It's a brown bear. Oh, that's terrifying. Oops, that's a red current. Didn't actually want to take that with. That is totally a bear. The way he's acting, yeah, that's a bear. Let's uh, let's leave him to his uh, own devices there. So bears like wolves are uh, basically guaranteed death to us right now, although bears are even faster and can climb better. So it's like uh, uh, an even worse wolf. <laughs> a terrible terrible situation to have right next to you it's 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 the game making up for spawning me cool obsidian i do love this uh look at this biome though bauxite over there got some i think that's granite stone and chert it's relatively flat ish not bad got some reeds got some tool Got some uh, obsidian or basalt stuff there. All right, let's keep. Let's go ahead and get some of these. The reeds are, we're going to need uh, ten per basket, so 40, 40 of them will get us what we need. Oh, there's some food down there. Look at that lovely food waiting for us down there. Uh, I'm going to work on the berry first. We're going to use berries to feed ourselves for now. These are black currant. Uh, I'll wait if we find black currants that are ripe. I'll take the plant with me, because I'd love to have a, a whole bunch of black currant uh, plants wherever we end up living. We can transplant them early and get a uh, get a harvest in before the year's end. Any chance that has resin on it? No. Beautiful big tall pine uh, pines, though. <clears throat> they grow really nice naturally there. Now, pine trees actually grow better. Uh, taller if you um, actually intentionally grow them in tight clusters. <clears throat> I don't just mean in game, I mean like IRL. Um, which, you know, wrecks biodiversity in the forest, but makes good for uh, good uh, harvesting of pine. But you get all the. Uh, um, most of the SPF is pine made, uh, harvested like that. Um. All right, how many we got? 35, 36. I babbled right through what was going to be a time lapse. You're welcome. I think. All right, that's 40, so that's enough for our baskets. It's a good start. If we don't get eaten, we'll take those four baskets, please. Wonderful. So, yes, I love the basalt. Oh, look at that. Look at the size of that oak. That's a lot of oak, or whatever it is. Maybe, maybe it's not oak. That might be a maple, or a walnut tree, rather. It's probably oak. There's little oak saplings around here. So, the game has spawns things like this. This this oak thing here. But that is all uh, natural produ production. They don't... Oh, look, some veggies. That doesn't uh, happen... Doesn't happen from us planting them. If we plant them, it becomes a... Rather uniform, kind of bland looking tree. At least that's how it used to be. Maybe they've changed that. I hope so. All right, that is 
Good. We need 24 of these to make a reed basket on the ground. We need about, uh, let's see, we need eight of them to make a stack of um, poultices for healing. There's some more black current. Love it. Let's break up these sticks. And the black currants. Lovely. Uh, that's flowering black current. I'll take it with me. We're not we're not likely to find it again, real close. Uh, let's uh, let's grab the onions. We've got the cargo capacity for it, so. Take the seeds where we can. Onions, huh? Onions are, are a cooler crop, aren't they? Uh, let's put our stuff up here. Keep the veggies in there. Um, onions are tolerant up to minus one and plus 40. So that's good news. <clears throat> which, which tells me that we're probably in a modestly temperate biome. Sort of a warmer of the temperate biomes. Ah, look at that. Crimson uh, maples over there. Under the chert. Beautiful. Ah, mountain goats. Hmm. Awesome. Awesome. More, more tasty brush and bushes. That one is cranberry. Cranberry and cranberry. So moving in off the water is cooler. Because cranberries and blueberries require cooler... Oh, hello. Stab it. Stab it. Stab it. Stab it. I'm terrible at fishing with a knife. I don't think there is a good fishing with a knife. Hey, we got ourselves some fish. Excellent. <clears throat> Let's fish this one. He's not particularly good at getting away. There you go. And uh, fish, oddly enough, gives you, well, nothing apparently in that case, but uh, when it gives you stuff, it gives you better um, better hunger, better satiety um, <clears throat> when it's raw. Sushi time. Uh, let's go ahead and make another knife. Now, I, I did make, um, I could make knives out of flint. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, this basalt is a stone type that you can make nap with and it's the lowest durability not the basalt but stone is the lowest durability for weapons or and tools but uh, I'm using it because well because it's the lowest durability I'll save my good stuff for important things like spears which I should probably consider making before I go inland at all let's grab that not not more reeds. A beautiful crimson maple in there. More oak sticks. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the branches. Oh, this one's even got a, a, a little stub of a, a trunk. Wonderful. And this is oak, I think. Right? No, it's walnut. It was walnut. Okay. Gorgeous walnut trees. Uh, walnut is uh, usable... Or a bunch of separate, uh, different things, but ores and yeah. There was some things that I was looking at. Oh, support beams, right? I forgot about that. Oh, antler mounts, right? We can mount animals, animal hides, or skins, or whatever's. I I like the idea of getting this stuff, but I don't have the time for it today. Let's let's keep moving. Ah, blue clay, beautiful. We got a pine here. Does this have sap uh, saplings on it? Or uh, sappy stuff on it? Doesn't look like it. Not at first glance, anyways. Hey, if you guys see stuff that I'm missing, please comment it. Some of the stuff will be like, oops, it's too late. But you might, like, see me walk by a piece of copper or something on a ridge line that I don't notice or hop over because I'm not paying attention. Just, just post the timing. Timestamp, and then we can uh, together hopefully help this crazy little serif survive. Yes, this is great. Some clay, I like it. I like it a lot. 
Now, we don't have a map, otherwise I'd be marking these important, vitally important things. So we got the basalt biome over there to get obsidian, basalt. We got, uh... Is that the bear? I feel like that is a fo No, that's the tree. Uh, we got some uh, blue clay here. We could actually gather some clay. That would probably be a good choice. Let's make another shovel here, or make a shovel here. Well, that's too far away to be napping. I don't know if seraphs are able to be nearsighted, but this guy's farsighted, so... Maybe I'm trying to compensate for my natural nearsightedness. Alright, shovel in there. Good. Um... <clears throat> Let's, uh, yeah, let's gar gather up some of this clay. A stack will, a stack or two will do for quite a long time. But if, if, uh, we get that and we can get ourselves hunkered down somewhere, if we find a space that we're gonna bunker down, it's not something I usually rush to do in the first day. I don't want to pick a biome that's, you know, oh, hey, hello, look at that. That's, like, in the forest, for instance. Um, I don't want to pick a biome that's gonna give us a low survivability chance, like forest full of wolves or bears uh, by rushing it. Like, oh, there's a 12-foot clearing. Let's quickly make our house and then we end up staying there. We'll, we'll, be, we'll try to be uh, transient as much as we can uh, until it serves us to actually settle down. That might mean making you know a handful of... I don't need all of those. It might mean making a handful of... Uh, Temporary little shelter somewhere. There's our medicine. Excellent. That's one other thing off the list. So generally what I want to do is get our four baskets. We got that. I want to get enough, enough uh, reeds to get at least one um, one reed basket made after that, which is 24 of them, plus another eight reeds to be able to make a, uh, a set of those uh, healing herbs when we find horse tail, which we just did. <clears throat> we want to find, generally pick, I like to pick a red current if you can find them early and uh, stockpile as much of that as you can because that's going to give you, um, it's going to, if you, if you settle down somewhere early, if you find a good spot and you settle down early, you're going to have a spot where you can at least have a few, every few days have some, some fruit appear for you, which can be life-saving and it can really help turn your uh, turn your nutrition up as far as the vegetables and fruits goes without having to run into run around and, and look for it and that's a that's a time saver I like time savers uh, we are also in a biome that does not permit uh, or in a in a world settings that does not permit us to stack this stuff it will collapse on us if we try so uh, we're gonna get about a dozen of these for nerd polling if we need to Just to let us, uh... What, how many is that? Twelve? That's perfect. Goes six of them along the bottom, turns it into packed dirt. And I like to keep packed dirt around, uh, for... Um, I like to keep packed dirt around for getting out of holes. Um, for, like I said, nerd pulling, because you can, like, dig a... You can, you know, if you find copper, for instance, you want to mark something. Having a material that you can mark a little totem vertically is really quite useful. All right, there we go. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to try to give somewhat useful uh, tips and hints from my minimal experience. So this stuff is, again, really good later, but uh, I don't want to fill my inventory with things that are future Drake problems. I want to deal with now Drake problems, like finding a place to bunker down for a while. That is some gorgeous trees. I love these. This is an oak. What a rich looking forest line here. Is that a bunny? Cute little bunny. Um, alright. What if we... Is this... Let's actually explore. Is this thing actually just a big lake? If it is, maybe... Ah! <laughs> if it is, maybe we'll get the heck out of Dodge. Uh, let's... Over here. Eeky little holes under here so we can see what's going on. Yes, okay. <clears throat> we'll take the branches before it all collapses without yielding anything. 
I think we actually have to break the branchy parts in order to have these things fall apart on their own, but looks like that's about it. Right over on the other side of that hill, if you didn't notice it, was a wolf. And I don't want to mess with him. I do want to make uh, an obsidian um, tool here. There we go. Uh, obsidian cannot make arrows. Okay. It can make spearheads, though. Uh, so we'll make two of these up. That's a little up close and personal. I love the purpley color to it. It's nice. Oh, uh, I need to have something else to nap it with. This, right? Yeah, no. Oh, does that not work? Oh. Maybe I do have to have another one to do it. Okay. Um, all right. Well, then spears it is. So once it's placed, I can do that, eh? Yeah, when it's placed, I can use a different rock, but apparently I can't tell it that I need to nap it until uh, with that, without having another obsidian. It's too bad. I'm going to make four of these. Usually takes three to damage them enough to back them off. Three thrown spears, and uh, we'll take one for the, for the road, right? Now, one, because I will probably want to have one left in my hand when I'm done. Now, the reason I made that is because, uh, out of obsidian, is because we have a damage attack power, 2.3, and I think these are less. Two, yes. So that is actually a substantial difference. <clears throat> Hi. Hi, wolf sounds. Hello, wolf sounds. We are not fans of you. Why is this not collapsed? Hmm. Weird. There you go. Yeah, um, I'm thinking I don't want to mess with him, though. Well, actually, I'm to think of it. Bring it on. Let's, uh, let's go into the uh, safety of the deeper waters. <clears throat> and if we're far enough back, oh, let's let's swim in the lightning storm. That sounds safe. If we're far enough back from him, from them, from it, where is you? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Huh? Ah? Yes. Ha ha. Oops, and threw a third one, a fourth one. Grab our spears back first. Safety priorities. Check around for the mate. Too far away to back up. Like, like it. All right, this is uh, the first time we'll see the bonus of, there you go, look at that. It's like it didn't even have a low, a low f count. Uh, it also is like we don't have, um, I need all this. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Um, what are we going to do away with? Let's do away with uh, drowning. Let's stop drowning first. Let's eat that. <clears throat> I'll come back for that harvest in a moment. Put uh, these pine seeds down. Might as well save the uh, forest for later. Lovely. Gotta be a, gotta be a good steward of our resources here. That end, I want this. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. I really want this stuff right here. I am. All right. So I'm going to take the, I'm going to float to the bottom to do some crafting. Take this and we're going to oil this medium hide. Perfect. Actually, I shouldn't have done that right now. That was dumb. Well, I'm going to throw a shovel away then. It's we're going hunting another one. Aha. Come this way, where it's a little shallower. I don't want you dying in the depths. You can also go underneath them and poke them. Just don't do it wrong. Oh no! He's swimming! Why is there a deep water why is there a deep water wolf here? Oh fast fire. <laughs> Rapid fire attack there. Alright. Watch that, that swimmy bar, that health bar, on the or water bar, whatever it is, air bar on the bottom. Oh, darn. Didn't get a fat off him. All right. So uh, a medium oiled hide with some, I don't remember what else, 
with some other ingredients. That was great find of those kills. What's up, bunny corpses? Baby bunnies? You were out here in the water because you were hunting baby bunnies. In the water. That is weird. Shirt sand. All right. Oh, there's a nice uh, hillish sort of thing. Some chickens. Mm-hmm. That looks like a non-forest biome. I like non-forest biomes for, you know, not being eaten in the forest. Is that, that's blue clay, right? Yeah, it is. Uh-oh. Oh, that was a weird spike. Weird laggy spike. All right, it is getting uh, evening. Evening and morning, the first day. And our angels and demons battle a vintage story. So far, we haven't fought any demons. Just wolves. Just nature, which can be demonic enough. Uh, more of this is nice. I don't mind the idea of being real close to a forest biome. Raccoons? Raccoons and bunnies wandering around is a great sign to me. Because that says, uh, you survive. Now, um, question. Do we want to be in a cold biome? Because this is a cool biome for sure. Oh, is that peat? That is peat. I'm not sure what I just heard. But I'm scared. I think we will uh, try to hunker down on the coast there somewhere. Let's actually get up here quick and have a look what the vantage point up here shows us. Oh, a little above ground pond here. Interesting. It's not a bad, uh, not a bad biome for this. Whoa, look at that hill. Wolves down there. Wolves, you're so... What, what are you doing running around there? Yeah, not a fan. <laughs> not a fan of the wolves. Or living next to them. Um, okay. Well... For the day, let's go. Um, let's go hunker down on a shoreline, walking right towards the critters, the death growlers. All right, let's say we go over into there. Uh, pull out our shovel. Oh, I threw my shovel away. Right. Reed basket next. Let's do that. Let's uh, take that little pile of stuff off. That sounds good to me. Get another bit of reeds for another basket. And get ourselves plunked into a hole. So the animals will continue to spawn in the same general area. So if you find a spot that produces, uh, that has has a bunch of wolves around, you're gonna always have a bunch of wolves around. So I think what we'll do is we'll we'll uh, we'll bury ourselves, uh, burrow ourselves in for the night on one of these little hillets here, and. Oh yeah, beautiful rainy day. Rainy, cold night. Lightning striking us, yeah. Don't lightning strike me, okay world? It does, it does really seem to like to lightning strike me. Which is really concerning. We don't have a lot of hit points, you gotta remember that. We're a one shot, we're a one shot meal for these guys. Wolves hit me one time and I'm dead, so. All right, let's, what? let's get over to, I don't know, something like here, over here. This looks good. All right, let's get over here. 
And uh, I need a I need a light. So let's start with a uh, lighting device. Where's the grass? I have no grass. I have no grass. Really? Okay. Um, that's awkward. Let's take a knife and make some cut some grass. Did I not get grass for a bed? Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, a torch would be lovely. We'll start with a fire lighter, though. And then we'll go with that and the sticks. And that's a nice torch. Three of them, lovely. Uh, that's going to be awkward. Uh, let's say we start with a... Uh, that, 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 and that. Good. And I'll put my torch down here. Oh, there we go. And if I can find that fire starter... Where'd it go? There it is. Aha! It's so dark. I waited too long. There we go. Alright. Uh, now, I'm gonna put another couple of these out. And we'll start by putting some other fire down after I put a basket down. Let's put uh, a couple reed baskets. Uh, how about right... Really, dudes? How about that, 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 this, um, the hide, stuff that we don't need to use right now? Lovely. Okay. And then, uh, a torch. No, you know what? Let's put the that away as well and make ourselves some shovels. I know this is where the wolves were, but I figured it's near where the wolves were the first time, but I figured we might be able to uh, get some damage done to them before, or get some work done before they come and damage my face. All right, that is okay. I don't have a tree, but there is one right there, so we can actually make, uh, let's make an axe too. We just need a little bit of firewood to get a first uh, night's fire going, which would be awesome. If we could get, like, a cooking pot sort of thing made, that would be great. Um, let's just chop this beauty right here. Get, get the sticks off it first. I don't know what the probability of having baddies appear tonight on the, near this island is, but... I feel like they're probably less likely. Let's take the roots for a couple of these. Cook up some roots for dinner. Working through the night without any in the in the rainstorm, without any security at all. This is super smart, dude. There goes my tool. Okay. Back to the shovel. Let's take the top off this hill. Turn what we can into packed dirt and make a little hovel there and get making some basic supplies. Yeah, that's enough to get started anyways. Let's go like this, and then dig a hole down. Um, I'll take... I'll put a wall in here. Yeah, like that. And then this can be our floor, so let's go ahead and empty that beauty out. Oh, I can't. Not at all. Mm-hmm. Alright. <laughs> that worked great. Uh, the church stone I don't need to keep. Let's go ahead and skip that across the waters. Uh, go like that. I go get out from under the rain a little bit. I'm gonna swap that to my offhand. Put that there. Grab a torch and light those up. 
They're sheltered under the rain, which is nice. Uh, and then I want some fire starting going on, I think. Uh, let's take the axe, if I have it there in the wood. There's the wood. Just a little bit of wood, just enough to chomp up and make a small little fire. Probably not enough even to cook what we need, but we'll see. Uh, there was some of this meat. That's the plan, anyways. I don't know if eight logs is going to be enough to cook that, but you could throw some grass or sticks or something on it. Um, get that out of my inventory. Guess we'll just light up the fire right now and then get some cooked meat for the for morning. We're, get, we're getting out. Oh, yeah, fire lit <laughs> under my feet. Because I'm SMRT. Uh, Alright, let's do this and that. Uh, we'll take this reed basket up. Wonderful. Get him placed down here. Let's put him in the corner there. Uh, open one, click on the other. Look at that. Open, 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 open. open. Love it. Uh, then we can take the other one down. This is might maybe a too elaborate of a of a spot to start with, but always gotta build bigger than you need. Always, always plan to build bigger than you need. Uh, that is not being hit by stupid fires. That is me stupidly getting hungry. Uh, what's the berry situation? One day left on those berries. So we'll go ahead and gobble those up, because the meat will last longer than that. You know what? I'm going to try to be not super stupid. Maybe we shelter this thing up first. Cute little hovel here. Alright, um, then let me just unload some extra stuff that we don't need. The night will be, uh, pseudo useful. We'll get through most of this night and then we'll probably call the first episode after a wit a little bit. Let's take our little fire starter and shift click and it can lean on the wall. I love that. Alright, a couple uh, torches in my inventory. Lovely. Let's go ahead and make a uh, knife again. I'd like to go in the morning back to the basalt um, biome at some point uh, and possibly get some aside from finding a bear. I'd like to hopefully find a uh, some obsidian. Make more obsidian blades because that's awesome. Having a 30 or a 15% stronger weapon sounds great to me. Uh, soil, soil. Mm-hmm. All right, knife. Give me all this stuff. I could actually carry the torch in the offhand, but if you look here, your uh, hunger rate goes to 120% when you're carrying it in your offhand. It gets the same light here when it's in your regular hand, but... Um, it's, hard to, it's hard to do that, but let's see. Strangely enough, I could put a torch right there and eliminate the area while I'm working. Use all this in situ resources, dude. These are all things we're going to need, and it'll be nice to have them sooner rather than later. I'd rather be walking around with a stack of goodies that are useful than uh, sleeping. You don't actually need sleep in the game, so why bother, right? So I'm going to take these reeds out because I'm not anticipating living here long. So I don't care if they are able to regenerate. I'd rather either eat them in case it, that becomes urgent. Uh, they give like 200... Or tw uh, what do they give? Some some amount of hunger. When cooked, they give 100 vegetable uh, uh, food value, so that's all good. It's not nothing. Looks like either the moon is out 
Yeah, it's a moony morning. It's actually starting to lighten already for the day, so. Now what we can do is we can actually, wherever we set up, we can rapidly, if we don't need to eat these um, reeds, we can just take them with us as a, as a uh, quick camp setup to early, oh look, starfish. Set up our first uh, supply of reeds wherever we go. All right, so that brings us to the morning. And a important decision. Uh, oh, I forgot. I was going to cut down the tree. The whole point of that going out there was to cut down the tree, so this stuff would be fine. Well, that's awkward. Uh, I suppose I could throw some some hay on there, some straw on there to cook it up. Whoosh! Was right to flame, and then uh, chomp up this tree. Let's do that. Let's take the torch off and chop this tree. It takes a long time. So we'll do that, and then we'll talk about the next uh, episode and the episode timings and stuff. We're looking at about, you know, 30 to 40 minutes of finished product. There will be some time-lapse stuff. If I go and I'm like, all right, I'm going to go chop down 12 trees. I won't stand here and chop and chop and chop and chop for 12 trees and make you watch through that or have to fast-forward on your own. I will actually time-lapse our way faster through those sort of moments. Um, did we get everything off that tree? Yep. So that's going to matter. Um, what else? I'm actually only going to do one of these chunks to be chopped for firewood. Uh, because I want to actually make sure they're, sto they're stockable. They're transferable. All right, that's there. Let's say we decide what we're going to use or take with us. I'll take these. Where oh, we didn't get any more. Where'd they go? I swear there was a bunch of floaty reeds. Oh. Alright. I thought I thought I picked them up. Maybe not. Huh. Alright. Um, our hides. I really wish we had found another oil. That's alright. Uh, these are great for um, you can you hit H over an item. You can turn them into rope. And it's relatively easy. Oh, they have a good burn time, don't they? Okay, why don't I do this? Throw that down there and let them be the burn time. So let use them to cook up the last... They don't have much of a... They have a 10 second burn time, uh, which is slow. Or it's rather rather fast, but they have a good temperature, so there you go. Nice and cooked up. Um, I'll take the... That there. We'll take the clay. I need better storage devices. Uh, what's missing here? The axe is in the wrong slot. We have obsidian. I don't really need the obsidian. I think I'll leave the obsidian behind for now. If we need it for- if we need to for storage. That's kind of a lower priority. Uh, sticks and reeds. Great. We'll keep our hides. Unfortunately, they're in separate stacks. I'm gonna go ahead and plant the birch. Because why not? Future me might appreciate it, or at least see it and smile. I'm hearing wolves. But sunrise is upon us, so let's uh, let's end off the first episode there. Not bad. We survived, sort of. Um, we're doing modestly okay. There is a stack of clay in my inventory. Uh, some bushes, some... This stuff is probably not ideal. Um, I don't like holding my torches in there because they tend to uh, be something I scroll over and go whoosh, and it disappears. And that is sad. Uh, so let's do that. And then I'll take... We'll leave the onion seeds behind. I'll take the obsidian stone. We'll leave the clay here. We can always get more clay. Because we're going to head next time into Obsidian Land. And, uh, yeah, it'll be fun. We'll go get, check out the Obsidian area. 
And maybe, like we know the obsidian's back that way. Maybe we'll hop across the water here, see if we find anything of interest, and work our way that way to see what sort of uh, areas have the obsidian and uh, other things in. It was not bad. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the series. Stick around with us. Uh, and the link in the... There's the vines. <laughs> There's the vines right there. I knew they were there somewhere. Um, the the link down below will show you the, um, the playlist. So if you're... Where'd my stone go? There it is. Uh, if you're interested in watching the whole series, it's down there. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know. Give me some feedback, if you will. Appreciate that. Thanks for joining me. Hit that like button before you head out. We'll see you in game.